Yes, as the mayor of Kumbatu Council, who doubles as the regional chairman of the SDF in the Southwest, my great expectation from what we are expecting the head of state to his speech to dwell on tomorrow to be on reconciliation and especially concerning this Anglophone crisis. It is my wish that the head of state should call for a round table conference so that the people of the Southwest and the Northwest and the governments will sit together and decide the fate of this Anglophone problem. It is over a year since this exercise started and we think this is the, high, the, high, the most high time for the head of state to at least call the people of the Southwest and the Northwest together as a father. Because you, there, is this even, there is this common say that you cannot be calling for a dog and then you hold a stick in your hand, the dog will not come. The head of state should extend a peace leaf to the people of the Southwest and Northwest, call them together for dialogue. Because it is only through that meaningful dialogue that I really think that peace can come back to the Southwest and Northwest. So that is my that is my only wish that the population of the Southwest is expecting from the head of state. Uh, this is my opinion. The head of state has his opinion, not just his personal opinion, he has the, the opinion of other Cameroonians. I think he can put all this together and come up with something that would benefit, that would actually bring peace to the Northwest and Southwest as a whole. Yeah. Okay, I am Tamwat Lossi, uh, a native of the Southwest, the essential president for Level 1A. And, uh, like any other Cameroonian, we, we expect, and the Southwestern for that matter, like before, we expect, my greatest expectation is that we believe that the head of state is going to make a statement relating to the agricultural trouble, relating to the way forward of the agricultural crisis. Because at the moment, we have celebrated Christmas, we are on to the new year, in a few hours by the grace of God to those who see it. Our other brothers and sisters elsewhere are not celebrating Christmas. Some of them are inside the forest, some of them are inside the cages. They are, mil they are military that was supposed to be quiet somewhere. They are in the bush too, chasing uh, civilians in the name of terrorists. Hmm? So we think that if the head of state comes and gives a proper appeal, it makes a proper statement. I mean, the worries of Anglophones. When we went down to the field, when we spoke with the population, their cries were digitalization, original autonomy, more opportunities to Anglophone, in terms of government, in terms of the, the way Anglophones are treated. I believe that if the head of state comes out, in less than 48 hours to address these issues. I think it's going to go a long way to help us live together. To live peace. Because we are Cambodians. We can't succeed, we can't divide. We are going to live. And uh, what I'm expecting from to say is uh, let him tell the people that this time around things will be fine. You know? Let him encourage the people because the people are fed up. People are fed up. You know, when you are holding people, you need to give them hope, even when things are not moving. When you stay quiet and the people are molested, you need to still give them hope. Just tell them that this time around, everything is going to be fine. And that this time around, we promise them. And you try to do. Thank you. Uh, I'm a Madu Melo Fortune. I wanted that, uh, I, I expect uh, something from the president this year, a new thing. 
I want to see the president release all the Anglophone detainees. Then redress the Anglophone issues and state his resignation for a youth to take over. That is the new year I wish the president to take Cameroonian this year. Well, I'm Takahaya Ayoka. I'm the president of uh, the Close the Gap Association, the organization of persons living with disability, Nemekumba. Uh, uh, what I really expected from the head of state tomorrow is to see how they will really to see how we talk about the Anglophone crisis, to see how they will come on table and dialogue, to see that uh, in the days ahead, God will live in peace. So that is what I want the head of state to really say that tomorrow in the speech. And in fact, uh, if that, that can go well, that will be better, and that will be better in the days ahead and in the nearest future for Cameroonians to still live like brothers, like ancestors. I'm uh, Mr. Mojini, where I am a member of a message. The public always give us a message to appease us like Cameroonians on how the, the new year, the following year is going to look like. <laughs> and so this time we still expect him to say something. But there is something very funny that the crisis that has been ravaging our southern Cameroon area, he has not made any effort to come and listen or to, or to say something. But we expect him to say something, especially about the present crisis which is ravaging the southern Cameroon area. Yes, I think that's what I can say about uh, to envisage his speech. No doubt, Bia is a good man. We don't hate him. But if there are people behind him trying to stop him from you know, doing what he was supposed to do to the people, then that is bad governance. And we condemn it. That is not how we were expecting him when he was entering. We were, you, you understand? He was, I was, he was coming as the president. He was a good man when he just came. But uh, in the long run, he just started changing like a chameleon. This time we expect him at least to do something and say something to appease this present crucial crisis which is going on. Me, I expect my president wait to wait to talk tomorrow. At least we talk on two way to hold down the phone that had. Me, we draw all that stuff to read on send and command it. Then talk fine for me go here. Then the dialogue we want that sit down there. Today, this time I'm from Mount Pedro. I look and be to be a disgrace, like a president which carries stuff and send a new profile on the table. For me, that one is the one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. À ce moment, on croyait que le chef de l'État va parler effectivement avec le problème anglophone. Parce qu'à ce moment, on est en train de célébrer, on a déjà célébré la, la fête qui vient de passer le 25. On a une autre fête dans 48 heures. On, comment on célèbre On célèbre quand nos amis, nos frères sont au forêt. Hein? Ils ne peuvent pas célébrer parce que ils, ils sont à une, on a, on a une sécurité. Tout va. Bon. On croyait que le chef de l'État, notre président national, va faire le mot pour adresser la situation des anglophones. La, la préoccupation des anglophones quand on était au terrain, qu'on fait la désolation, l'autonomie régionale, et quoi que les anglophones, on nomme les anglophones à une certaine position au gouvernement, on donne l'opportunité aux anglophones. Je crois que s'il adresse cette situation, hein, ça va améliorer la, la, la situation de ce moment. Et on a obligé de vivre ensemble. Le, les anglophones et les, notre frère de notre huit régions, on a obligé. C'est clair qu'on on va vivre ensemble. Je m'appelle M. Harrison Meyewo. Euh, normalement, euh, quand tu es un président, il faut donner euh, à la population l'espoir. Il faut les encourager. Et il faut le dire que cette fois-ci, ça va aller. 
parce que maintenant ils sont soublés, ils sont intimidés, ils sont massacrés par la, par, par la force. Et maintenant, ils ont besoin de prouver la paix. Et maintenant, il faut les encourager, tu fais la paix. Parce que la force n'est pas une solution. La force n'a jamais été une solution. Tant qu'il y a la force, il y a le miracle, il faut lutter, il faut tuer. Il faut les encourager. Il faut les donner un espoir. Il faut les faire comprendre que les choses vont changer. Il faut les faire. C'est ça. Merci.